Don't do it. Don't sit them down in front of the guy who's molested them and ask them. Hey? Yeah, you know, didn't you? Hey, and how many little children's lives you ruined, eh, by covering up child molesting, eh? No. No? no. How many little children you cut off from mummy and daddy, eh? No. no you haven't disfellowshipped anybody. You're lucky then, aren't you? I'm glad of that. I'm glad you haven't got that on your conscience, ruining little children's lives so they go off and commit suicide. They commit suicide because you cut them off from mum and dad and nanny and granddad. Yeah, cut them off from everybody they'd ever known. Yeah, for having been molested. Covering up child molesting, it's wrong. Jesus wouldn't cover up child molesting. Jesus loved little children. Jesus would have phoned the police. Jesus would have phoned social services. Jesus wouldn't cover up child molesting. No, he wouldn't. Jesus wouldn't cover up child molesting. Jesus loved little children. Yeah. He wouldn't sit them down in front of the guy who's molested them, ask them what colour knickers they had on, how did they feel when they were being molested by a fellow Jehovah's Witness. No, Jesus would have informed the police. Jesus wouldn't have told them to keep quiet and don't tell anybody. Jesus wouldn't have ruined young children's lives by allowing them to be molested by fellow Jehovah's Witnesses, Jesus would have gone to the police. Jesus would have gone to the social services. Jesus wouldn't stand by and let little children be molested. No, he wouldn't. Jesus loved little children. Jehovah's Witnesses pay out millions in the court. That's why Brother Let says, give us more money. There's more going out than there is coming in. We need more money. Because we're having to pay all these, all these court fines for having allowed little children to be molested. It's wrong. When a little child comes crying to you that they've been molested, we ask that you phone the police. <laughs>